Hi everybody, thank you so much for returning to Crafty Crafts. Today we are going to be painting an Indian elephant. So let's get started. Okay my darling, so the first thing we want to do is give it a background. And the background can vary by what you want to do. You can use multiple colors or you can use one color for the whole background. I'm going to use the uh, bright yellow as well as um, the orange apricot and the pumpkin orange to do this background. So I've got them here on my little tray. So using the bigger round brush is what we're going to do the background with. And you can either blend the colors together you can use one whole color to do it. Now I'm not going to do the edges necessarily until the very end because some of the other colors that we'll be adding on might affect it. And don't be afraid to blend them and move them around. So once your background is dry with a light gray, and I just mixed a little bit of white with the gray to make it a lighter color so we can do whatever we need to and then we can come back and fill it in with the darker grays. But with the lighter gray, what we're going to do is we're going to go about an inch in and two inches up and we're just going to dry a diagonal line. Using a detailed brush, it's going to be one of the ones with the smaller head. And we're just going to draw that line and leave it there. And then we're going to come up to the top and about an inch in, we're going to draw a curvy line like that. And that's going to be our ear. And then from that, we want to come in in a little bit of a circular motion to start with the head. And we're going to go down. Now you don't have to paint it all in and it doesn't have to look perfect or even because we're real big color in it in. But for right now we're just outlining the head. And then we're going to come to about half of here, half of this side, and go starting the trunk to come back up. And then a slightly diagonal line to close that. Now this will be colored in too. This is just outlining the ear itself. And we'll be outlining it with black in a minute. You can also draw a task right now if you want here on the side. But I'm going to do it very last when everything is colored in. So once your outline draws, you can take a flat headed brush that's a little bigger than the digital brush and start coloring your elephant head in and you don't have to use the light gray you can do a mixture of grays but go ahead and while you're painting it go over the outlines with the different colors and make it a little poppier to the eye, a little bolder to the eye. So I'm going to get some dark gray and some black on my 
little tray here and then we'll be back to chat. lovely friends how are we doing with digitaling everything once you got everything colored in and digital the way you want it you can always make it a little thicker and a little lighter and I lend this black around here because it was a little bit watery because I wanted to show you if something like that happens when it completely dries you can come back with the background color and paint on it so this black I will turn back to being orange and yellow at the very end. But go ahead and paint your entire elephant head and the leg and use the black and use the different shades to um, pop out or detail some of the areas. Definitely you want to detail the ear and where the leg comes into the body. You want to go ahead and detail some stripes on the trunk maybe and I did a couple of shades on the head but you go ahead and do whatever you need to your elephant does not need to be gray but for the sake of this video it's gonna be gray and the background's gonna be orange and then we'll go in and detail and we're gonna paint the eye about right here with the black and white all right my darling so now that your elephant has dried up a little bit. Go ahead and take some white in the detail brush and find the best place you think for an eye. And just with the white, make a little oval. And then you can give it a little corner if you want for definition. And when that dries, we're going to put a black pupil and some black around the top lid. But before that, while you still got the white and the digital brush, go ahead and grab some more white on it. And come down here to, I guess, where the trunk and the face meet. And just draw a cylinder or a moon, whatever you want for a task. And I'm finding out that the task is actually easier with the green one. And I know some of my white is a little watery so it's leaking right now too but that's okay. I'll be able to fix it in just a minute. Lovelace. Using the detail brush, we're gonna take a little black. Just 
gonna make sure it's not too watery this time. And we're gonna give it like an eyeliner. And a pupil. Alright my darlings, if you really wanted to, you can leave it like that, but because we're having an Indian style elephant, I'm going to be using this pink perfect with some bright magenta, as well as the cool blue and the kiwi to draw some paintings on it like they would in India. So with a little brush. We're going to do that as soon as I put this in the tray. I'm gonna use some white and give it like a headband. And on that handband, I'm going to use some blue and some green when it dries in a little bit. And I'm just going to put some green and blue on it, make it a little festive and colorful. Put the white in underneath it is to just pop it up so it won't get too dark with the grays underneath it. Okay. And you can paint on it whatever you think would be festive or like an Indian looking painting on But make sure you let the colors dry a little bit before you paint on them. And you can add as much or little drawings and paint as you think needed.
You put as many decorations as you like on it, as much as you'd like, and then go back with your, when everything's dry, when you're done with your decorations, go back with the colors that you did the background with and fix if you had anything to fix. This would be the time to do it when everything's dry. And also this would be the time for you to paint the edges as well. So once you're done painting all the edges, you are done. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take a picture of yours and let me see what how it did. Put it on. Have a wonderful rest of your day.